I'm Gwen. I'm a first year student here at Williams College and I'm going to take you through a day in my life living on campus during the COVID crisis. Um, I am going to try and keep this short and sweet, at least by my standards, which means I can't get to all the topics I would have liked to cover, so please, please drop any questions you have in the comments below and I'd love to help and be a resource for you. That being said, I'm not officially um, affiliated with the college, so take anything I say with a grain of salt. Of course, I just want to be a resource for you. I do want to be a resource, but if you are looking towards the college um, application and admissions process and you're just watching this at 2am as part of your like stress spiral, please click away from this video. We've all been there and I don't want to contribute to that. This is just here to be a resource and be helpful to you. Okay, with that, I'll see you in the morning. Alright, good morning. I just woke up. I do not set an alarm basically ever without having any classes super early and I naturally wake up pretty early and that's what I prefer. So let's take a look at the sunrise. Nice way to start the day. Beautiful. Love that. Look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna go brush my teeth, put in my contacts, all that jazz, and then do some yoga and then start my day. Right, I finished my quick yoga session. Now I am feeling a little more awake and I am going to go um, get dressed, maybe do some makeup, uh, make my bed, uh, maybe check my email a little bit, pack my bag, just finish up getting ready for the day. Um, isn't this beautiful? I just can't believe I get to look out at this view every morning. Okay, I have gotten ready to go for the day, and now I'm going to head over to the music building to practice for about an hour before class starts. Needing to walk to get anywhere as you do in college is a little inconvenient, but you really don't mind when the views are as beautiful as they are every single day in Williamstown. So I'm done practicing, so I'm going to head over to the dining hall for breakfast. Even though the dining halls serve basically the same food this year, this dining hall that I'm going to this morning is always my favorite. It's really far away, so I don't go there that often, but fortunately this morning it's on my way to class. The dining halls work a little bit differently this year, where the kitchen staff will serve us the food, but it still is pretty slick and there aren't usually long lines. I got a piece of gingerbread french toast, some home fries, some sausage links, some hot chocolate, um, a blueberry kale smoothie. Probably won't eat all of this, but I don't know. Um, this serves basically the same thing for breakfast every morning. Off and all breakfast with a friend, but that didn't work out this morning, so I'm just enjoying breakfast with the view. What's not to love? Edit. What's really not to love is these squirrels. They're insane. They're so aggressive. You stand me down. I know you want my food, but I'm eating my food. No, go away. Alright, I'm going to throw away my leftovers and I'm gonna walk to my first class of the day, which is Econ 110. So we just finished uh, Econ 110, very classic, like first year Williams class. It's in person. Um, some classes this year are in person, some are remote, some are hybrid. Um, so it's like limited capacity. Everyone wears masks, spaced out, big room. Yeah, okay, so this is Brian. Brian, what are your thoughts on going to school like close to home? I really like it. Um, I can't go home because of the rules, so it doesn't really feel that close to home. But I love being in the Berkshires and I'm just so happy to be in the Purple Valley. <laughs> there we go, we love it. Okay, so now I'm heading to the Geoscience, Epidemiology, and Public Health. I have a little bit of downtime, so I might just soak in the sun a little bit. So I'm just sitting here by the science building, enjoying the absolutely beautiful day. Um, and I'm gonna have some banana bread and some mid-morning snack from the dining hall that I picked up when I was there for breakfast. So somebody was asking me about um, like spending living expenses at Williams. Um, you can get all the food you need at the dining hall. You can stock up and bring stuff home. And I mean, I say that Spring Street is priced like a tourist town rather than like a college town, because it is a tourist town. But there's, I mean, there's a Thai restaurant, there's an Indian restaurant, there's an ice cream place, there's a coffee shop, there's a Froyo slash coffee shop, there's uh, the, like a cafe that's like a little market. There's a bank, there's a um, pharmacy, there's 
a bookstore, there's a secondhand bookstore, there's a like apparel shop, which there's also that stuff in the bookstore. Really everything you could want, just definitely on the pricier side. <laughs> it is what you make it. And I'll add to that that like, there's also plenty of social stuff to do that doesn't cost money. Like one of the biggest things we do is we just like grab food together at the dining hall. Or you can, you know, do a movie night with your friends or you can, all sorts of things. Um, Okay, so we're in the middle of our geoscience class and it's a beautiful day out and so we had the discussion portion of class and so now we are eating lunch before like the sort of lab section. So this is Sophia, Sophia's my entry. Uh, <laughs> Sophia, what's it like going to school so far from home? Um, I really enjoy it. I like grew up in Los Angeles so it's very urban and a big city so I like just having a lot of space and doing things outdoors so I've enjoyed Williamstown. Okay, Dover, um, what are you going to miss the most when we go home in a week or two? Definitely the people. It's going to be really weird not being able to see my friends every day um, and just run into random people all the time, getting oh. lunch or whatever. Ben, what's it like going to school sort of in a rural area, middle of nowhere? Um, it's different for sure. You become really connected with nature and do a lot of hiking, but you become really close with everyone on campus and everyone in the community, so it's really nice being in the Jacob, what classes are you taking this year? I'm taking this Geos epidemiology class with y'all, and then I'm taking um, uh, genetics, which is bio 202 environment for the major, and then I'm taking a Hebrew Bible class, uh, which I'm really enjoying. And I like taking three, uh, even though there's an <laughs> optional four, because I can really do all the readings. That's, that's a I good call. Enjoy it. It's good reading, so that's what yeah. I'm doing. We got, we got lunch, I got sweet potatoes and rice and sriracha shrimp and coconut tofu rice noodles and watermelon and power, or wait, no, vitamin water? Yeah, okay. There are students who are paid to ring, bell yeah, ringers. to play songs on the bells. And so we get to enjoy the beautiful music. Um, it's a good time. Okay, back to geos. Okay, so now I'm just walking back from my geoscience class to my dorm. Um, we actually got to meet outside today for the second half of the class because it was so beautiful outside, so that was really nice. Um, and now, you know, I've been out and about from 8 a.m. to now it's about 3.15. And so I have to remind myself sometimes it's okay to take a break. Um, especially because tomorrow I don't have any classes. So I really, I don't have to finish everything today. I have to tell myself that sometimes. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna take a little breather and then see how I'm feeling and hopefully go practice again because I have a recital this weekend <laughs> that I really need to cram for a little bit. Um, maybe do some homework outside, maybe get a workout in if I have the energy for it. We're just gonna see how it goes. Nice leftover slice of quesadilla as I watch my Netflix. Okay, I'm feeling rather rejuvenated, so I think I'm going to um, take my work outside and just do some light readings, um, finish up a problem set with the stuff we learned in econ today, um, and do that while enjoying the sunset. <laughs> oh, hey, it's oh Isabella <laughs> Megan. <laughs> Megan. <laughs> What do you wish you knew when you were applying to college? Oh, I wish I knew what, probably how cold it was going to be where I ended up. <laughs> I wish I knew that I, and then also that the sun sets at like 4 p.m. I wish I knew that. It is ridiculous. Yeah. Isabel, what do you wish you knew when you were deciding which college to go to? Um, I wish I had done more research like on the surrounding area because I think a lot of where you are is like the experiences that you're able to have. And then on top of that, also financial aid. Always financial aid. We're like my main Alright, have fun watching the sunset. Bye guys! <laughs> that was definitely a good call. Beautiful evening, beautiful sunset. Um, I think now I'm going to do a quick workout. My dorm room is just big enough to do some workouts. Can't do everything, um, but it's it's just big enough. I did want to, I, I don't want this to get too ridiculously long, but I did want to jump in and talk about academics a little bit, um, just because they're so amazing. Like, Everybody has a different experience when it comes to like making friends and like settling in with the vibe and that's going to be true at any school but I genuinely cannot imagine a better education anywhere for me right now. 
I'm taking all sorts of kinds of classes. Um, my econ class, you know, that's a very standard class that many, many people take in college in general. Um, and it's often gonna be, you know, a huge lecture hall, you know, taught by a TA. But here, you know, there are 28 people in my class. My professor knows me by name. Um, and then my geoscience class, it's new this year. It's such a cool class. It's incredibly interdisciplinary, as you can tell from the name of it. Um, and we have that discussion component, component where we just get to like, talk to all these brilliant people um, and discuss the readings that we've done. And then the second part of class, we do sort of like a lab that our professor puts together. And so we have students of all um, classes, freshmen through seniors, and we have people from all sorts of different majors and interests. Um, my other class, which I am not, I don't have today, so I haven't really talked about it, is my tutorial, which is a hallmark of the Williams experience, which is where you take a class that is just you and it's typically one other student. I'm taking a comparative literature um, course called Spies Like Us, Espionage, Surveillance, and Protest in German Cinema and Literature. So just all of these interactions that I get to have with my professors who are just some of the most amazing people and with other students and just studying all sorts of different disciplines like academically I could not, I could truly not be any happier. I cannot imagine a better place to be. So I came for dinner. This is Bella. Um, Bella, you're doing sciencey stuff here. Yes, I am. Some people say that, like, why would you go to a liberal arts college for science? <laughs> what would you say to that? Well, even though I want to do science, I don't exclusively want to do science. So coming to a liberal arts college just means that I can explore whatever I want to. It's like this semester, I'm taking bio, but I'm also taking a film class and a religion class about, like, history. So I just want to explore things. And small class sizes. Small class sizes. Relationship with exactly. professors, reading. Actually having opportunities to get into research as a freshman with no competition from grad school students is incredible. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, we got baked haddock, steakhouse fries, pulled pork, bread, green beans, honeydew. Bella got the peach crisp and the apple juice. Good stuff. Um, so I did that very short workout um, and then I had that lovely dinner with Bella, um, and now I have about half an hour to kill until my TA session. Um, and so until then, because I have sort of an awkward amount of time to kill, I'm just going to practice a little bit, get in a few more reps, and then depending on how I'm feeling after the problem set, I might just go back to dorm, to my dorm and work out a little bit more and shower, maybe practice some more, maybe both. We'll just see where the night takes us. <laughs> The TA session went well, so now I'm back in the music building for my third practice session of the day. Okay, so I just did my TA session and a practice session, and I walked back into Mission, my building, and I saw some people, some friends watching The Bachelorette, so of course I had to join. So, hey guys. Hey! Um, okay, question for you. What's your yes. favorite spot on Spring Street? Um, definitely Papa Charlie's. Ooh, or, the deli. Or, good spot. Actually, I love Lickety. But it's oh, tunnel. well, yeah, Lickety, obviously. And there's something about Tunnel, too. Like, They're all so good. Okay, <laughs> Lickety's my personal favorite. And what are you most excited for when you go home? Loki, my room. That's fair. I like having a big bed. I miss just sleeping in my own bed and my cats. Okay, on to the bachelorette. So I just squeezed in a super quick five minute ab workout. You know, you gotta find the time where you can. Um, and now I'm going to take a shower. I should better a way to wind down for the evening than with a warm cookie, some hot tea, and jazz. The dining hall makes excellent baked goods, which is both a blessing and a curse. And then I will microwave my water, which is bubbly for some reason, um, to make some chamomile tea. And then um, Tuesday nights, I meet with a group because I'm involved with jazz at Williams. Um, and we do meet in person this year um, in small groups, not the same as it usually would be. Um, and these, but we also meet um, online for like a supplemental group. And the one that I'm in is basically just like a book club, but for jazz albums. Um, and so it is late at night, it's nine o'clock, um, because we have some international students, but not a bad day, way to wind up my day. All right, I had my jazz session, had a nice time talking to those folks. Um, then I was pretty sleepy, you know, brushed my teeth. Often I like to wind down if I'm not dead tired at the end of the day by reading a book. But I am re-watching Madam Secretary on Netflix right now, so I, you know, I had to go watch a few minutes of that. Um, but now I'm going to call it a night, so good night, thank you for tuning in.